guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the San Diego Comic Con 2015 exclusive Mega Man and Break Man vinyl figures from Kid Robot. That's right, Kid Robot is launching a brand new line of Mega Man figures, and they kicked it off at San Diego Comic Con with these two exclusives. I was very excited to pick these up since I'm a huge Mega Man fan. Always love getting new toys from the Mega Man games. So let's go ahead and check these guys out. I want to start by taking a look at the boxes because I think the boxes are beautifully done. Uh, just take a look at these. You can see that they've got this really great kind of foil look to it there. So it's got a nice shiny look. The Mega Man box is black and you've got this great kind of image of the Mega Man vinyl on the front with all these blue lines going into it. And it's done in this really great metallic blue color which looks awesome on that black box. But what's neat is when you flip this around to the back side, it kind of changes to this reddish color. And the reason for that is because this particular exclusive figure from Comic-Con is an exclusive colorway. Mega Man's actually wearing one of his alternate weapon power-up costumes. Um, so it's almost like the box is showing cha him changing from the blue to this more red color. I think that's pretty awesome. The Breakman box is done in a very similar style, but his box is white instead of black, but still has that nice reflective red look to it there. And his is just red all the way around. The other side of the box shows the back of the figure. So very, very nice boxes for these guys, but let's go ahead and open up these boxes and take a closer look at the figures within. All right, so here's Mega Man and Break Man outside of their packages. These are really big vinyl figures. They stand about seven inches tall, and you can see they're done in a very stylized fashion. However, the style here actually fits those retro NES video games um, because that's kind of the way they appeared in the games, a little short and a little chubby. Um, so it works with these, but they're very cool looking characters. So we'll go ahead and start by taking a look at Mega Man here. We'll move Break Man off to the side. Um, as I mentioned when we were looking at the box, this is an alternate colorway. This was exclusive to Comic-Con. Um, so he's wearing sort of this reddish orange and white outfit. Um, it doesn't specify exactly which power-up this is on the box. They just call it an exclusive colorway. Um, and it's kind of like a, a red-orange, so it's hard to tell exactly. I suppose if it's a red and white, this could be like his Rush outfit. Or, you know, Weapon 1, 2, and 3. Um, but if it's orange and white, it could also be Crash Man, maybe. Um, he's had different costumes, obviously, and he's worn this color combination for a few different weapons. So really, I guess he could be whatever you want. But... It's worth noting that it's just very nice looking. I love that the colors, especially on the helmet here, have a bit of a shine to them. So you can see the way my lights are reflecting off of it has a very helmet-like look to it. And the details are really nice. I mean, we got the little sides of the helmet, like for the ear pieces. You got these great little black rectangles on the back here. Um, the eyes are painted wonderfully. You got those big blue pupils. You got the black eyebrows there. All of the paintwork is very nice on here. Very crisp, very clean. Uh, articulation on these guys, it's limited, but this is what you would expect out of a vinyl figure like this. The heads can move left and right. The arms can move up and down. So that's all you're really going to get. But it's, you know, lightweight, nice, sturdy vinyl, um, very solid. So he stands, you know, you don't have any issues with him standing. Uh, the bottom of the feet just has the Capcom logo along with the Kid Robot logo. And of course, we've got the, uh, the blaster arm there, which is awesome. You even got the little kind of yellow rectangle on there um, and a red uh, circle in the center. So really, really great looking figure. And we're going to bring in Breakman now. Breakman is the one that I was really excited about because when do we ever get toys of Breakman? Never, until right now. Uh, if you're not familiar, Breakman is actually Proto Man's first appearance from Mega Man 3. Uh, it wasn't until the end of that game that he was revealed to be Proto Man, Mega Man's older brother. Um, so this is the way he first appeared. He's got a full mask on that's covering his face. Um, and like I said, you just don't ever see Breakman done in figure form. So I was really excited about this one. Uh, again, the details are great as far as the paintwork goes. That red has a nice shine on the helmet. I love the way it's reflecting the lights there. But he's got a lot of extra details, like the green piece on the back. Um, the pieces on the sides are shaped different than Mega Man's, and you got great green and red combos with the white highlighting it. Of course, you got that white logo painted on the top above the black visor. And the black visor even has this really cool kind of blue orb shining in the center of it, which is really neat looking. And then we've got that signature yellow scarf wrapped around his neck. 
and kind of hanging down in the back. And his blaster is also uh, detailed differently than Mega Man's. Got those great little nice yellow and black rectangles going all the way around the tip there. And then we even got a little yellow ring around the red in the center. Uh, he also comes with an accessory because Breakman or Proto Man just wouldn't be who he is without his signature shield. Um, so it's done in the nice white color. I love the little reflection on here. It does have a handle on the back. Um, articulation again is limited, so you do got to snap this in. Uh, one thing is you do got to kind of, he's got to hold it upside down. Obviously this is like the top of it, so he would normally be holding it like this, but just the way he's posed, this is the way you've got to clip it in. Uh, it's also worth noting that he's got a really, really tight grip, so it actually takes a little bit of work to snap that shield in there, but he holds onto it nice and firm, and now we've got our brake man holding onto his shield. Really, really fun figures, and these make for some great exclusives from Comic-Con. Now, like I said, this just kicks off this brand new line of Mega Man figures from Kid Robot, so I'm really anxious to see some of the things that they're going to be coming out with, because I love both of these. These are fantastic, and it's always great to get some new Mega Man items in my collection. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Mega Man and Breakman from Kid Robot. Uh, these were sold exclusively at the con, but there might be some leftovers hitting online stores. Other than that, you're just going to have to try to seek them out yourself. But like I said, there are more figures coming from Kid Robot that will be released retail. So happy hunting, my friends. And until next time.